So here's another uh, extensive set of observations to compare the vintage Storm Shadow to the uh, 2022 release. So as I said before, I suspect that this uh, new release is, uh, they build it from scratch. They either 3D scanned it or approximated, or I suspect there's even some ZBrush or similar digital sculpting. But I do not believe that they use the same mold, the same mold is too old. And we have to give a big shout out to Black Major Toys, who was able to, maybe not in all, in a very, very legal manner, was able to uh, use something that was closer to the original mold. So here's, for example, a vintage Storm Shadow, a yellow, so it's easy to see all the pieces here. And here's the new one. So a couple of things. Um, notice how the neck stem, they made it bigger, much bigger. Well, probably engineering, you know, because the material being a little softer, they're afraid it would break. So, okay. Now, uh, we talked about the treatment of the eyebrows. These were probably hand painted. These are probably with a, a tempo pad print. Maybe they use that on the other figures. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm speculating here. This does not bother me. But here are a couple of more observations. The back of the neck, it appears, if we look closely on the vintage one, that there's a much crisper detail of the knot behind the neck. And when we look at the new one, you're going to say, oh, no, it's the, the, the lighting. No, no, no. The detail is much, much more faint. Um, and then as far as looking at exactly side by side, it is, it is, you know, Okay, look at the, oh, that's interesting. Look at the fold along the jawbone. On the new one, it's a continuous one going down. On the old one, it's much fainter, further back. And then there's two smaller folds in front. So, yeah, I don't think that's a free scan. I suspect, yeah, it's been sculpted from scratch. Maybe over a 3D scan. Okay. So, here's a comparison. Uh, here's the old torso, and the holes were round. And here's the new torso, and the holes are hexagonal. So, this is an engineering solution, and I think I know why they did that. A complaint on all figures is that, you know, round on round means you're relying on tolerance, and then as it gets old, the arms get loose. By doing the hexagonal hole over the round arm, it induces a degree of interference that is much less likely to wear out over time. So it's a way to induce stiffness. No problem there. Uh, if not my criticism that the head is overly too tight, but hey, it's okay, it's just a personal opinion. Now, here's what's interesting. If this was the same mold, you would expect the parts to be interchangeable. Well, they're not. Um, I was looking at the outline. Okay, we know the hole is different. The details are different. The thickness of the details is slightly different. But the biggest change is... Okay, let's look at both front, right? There you go. Um, the boss is different. It's much thicker and longer. So I would say this is a welcome change. Because you know some figures, the, uh, the threads of the screw uh, end up being chewed up or shattered so this is good you know it's a thicker bigger boss so it's going to be more durable now when we look at the inside here you notice how the ejection pins marks here on the old one and the uneven uh coring of the part meaning you know this was done they had a with a pentagram they shaped the mold but the inside is a different shape and they approximate an even thickness but it's not proper uh even thickness. While on the modern one, using modern technology, it looks like they were able to make it even thickness so that the plastic doesn't shrink. So definitely new mold, new sculpting, no problem there. And notice also they flip the, uh, the uh, locating posts bosses with hex holes again here, right? Oh, on top too, they put some uh, arm limiter uh, there. So this is an interesting difference. Uh, you see on the old Joe figures, 
they had gigantic bird, uh, I don't know what you call those things. Um, and they would often touch the O-ring. And it might have been a feature so that the O-ring was keeping tension on them, but they would wear the O-ring. It, it, they would be a waste of plastic. Then they started to chamfer them. And, you know, and they didn't touch the O-ring anymore. Now here, they made this thing much thinner. You know, like this vintage, right? They made it much thinner. Uh, they made the stem a slightly bigger, okay? And then in the torso, there's like a stub behind it. So, okay, you know, no problem. So front, the figures uh, old and back are not compatible. So we cannot assemble an old part. You know, it's like the bosses don't match. It's, it's completely different length of the, nothing matches, no problem. Now let's look at the pelvis block. It looks very identical. Uh, okay, except for, of course, the, the stampings. One missing spray up, no problem. Is this the same? It looks very, very close. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I found it. So yeah, it's a little thinner between the legs. Crotch is a little thinner too. It's thinner widthwise. But uh, yeah, so some people have been worried about our doors look, you see this? I'm able to move the crotch. It's, this plastic is a little more give. So it's gonna be really, I think you can still break it, but this is definitely much more durable than the original ABS plastic. I do not dare to do this here because you know it's gonna snap. This old plastic is brittle. It's stiff, it's ABS, it was stiff when it was new, and it is now 30 years or more stiffer, so I won't touch it. But like I said, this newer plastic has, has some give. Oh, here, here's the best example. Let's look at the hands. Some of you were asking, how are the hands? Well, remember this? Look at Storm Shadow hands. No problem. The arm are made of a softer, buttery uh, plastic. A rubbery, sorry. So, you know, look, you can distort it, but it's not gonna break, for now. 30 years later, it's a different story, but it looks pretty good. And that might be the reason why they decided not to make the elbow pins too tight. So I already swapped mine with uh, all metal uh, rivets. So that's my mod, and it looks like a fun school figure now because I did not have the proper setup to flare out the, uh, the ones in the elbow. No problem there, you know. Uh, I'm happy with it, but uh, there you go. So comparing the flesh tone, we could say that it's slightly, yeah. It, I don't know if it's fair. We're comparing a 30 year old plus figure, but this is definitely much more skin. And the new one is a little more on the yellow side, which is okay. I mean, you know, it still registers as flesh, but uh, I don't know if you can tell. I'll pick it up. Also the rivets on the old one used to stick out. They made a recess on it, on the, the elbow in inner and as far as the sculpting of the shoulder and the upper arm it looks close no it's a different it's a re-sculpt because the, I see from my eyes the curvature the locations slightly different no problem uh, let's look at the legs so on the old uh, storm shadow you know, so it was like this. The friction from the knee came from the tolerance of the thick and knee pin and the guy here. What they've done here now is a couple of things. They added a lip, they added posts to locate. So what this means, and let's see here, see they put, there you go. And the knee pin is captive with a hex hole again. The boss is captive here and the locator posts go there. So what this means is without the metal T-bar and, you know, these two pieces are held perfectly on three locator posts. And there's a lip. So see here, there's a, there's a groove, there's a recess where the lip is gonna go. So the old ones didn't do this. I recall that some late 90s G.I. Joe had the raised lip and the locator, but the issue was this, is that sometimes on some figure, the only thing that's uh, lining, you have three points of lining, which is the screw, 
the T-bar and the knee pin. And sometimes those things could wobble a bit. But uh, this figure, this drum shot of mine here, uh, it's pretty good. So like the, there's a very little mismatch, but it was not all the case. On the prototype, this is much more ap apparent. Uh, now let's look at how they did the friction on the new one. This is very interesting. The hole is tapered. It starts out very big and rounded, see the fillet? And then it gets narrow. Compared to the old one that was just same bore across. And this is like a medium size pin. Some Joe figures are the much thinner pin that would break and some at the end are much bigger. But what they've done here is very, very different. Is that I expected a hex hole, they didn't. They have this taper hole. But the friction comes from, here I gotta show you here, right there. See the curvature? It's not a, a perfectly round curvature. There's the round curvature and they added a bit of material. So what they've done is they made it there and then it's like, well, you know, get a soft material. They don't want to rely on the tolerance because it's going to get loose or too tight or too loose. So what they do in the mold, because in a steel mold, it's easy to remove material, but adding is very difficult. So what they've done in the mold of the Phi is they added a tiny bit of material to create an interference there. And this is the stiffness I'm feeling. Now, the downside why I don't like this is this would imply that you assume that you've got a a good curvature from the base here all the way there. If this was a perfectly concentric curvature, then you would have even friction, but it's not. There's some hard spot and sweet spot right there. So it's an attempt to make the figure more durable. So see here, here it's, it, it's smooth. Then here it gets tough, you know. So I've been working those, maybe it gets better, but the feel, you know, this is tricky. I mean trying to make this as cheap as possible, but this is some engineer's attempt to induce some extra friction in the joints so that it's not, um, you know, so it doesn't have the issue of the old figures, you know, that eventually it gets like this. But, hey, you know, applaud the changes. Uh, again, I recommend those figures because the plastic is much, is more, much more give. So it's like we're going to be able to bash those things. All right, I'm going to stop there. Thank you.